Alright, what's up? This is Brett from Mediocre Poker Radio and the Junkies, of course. I hope this video, the recording of this video is working alright. I'm playing a heads up $55 turbo uh, sit and go. And I think this is the game that I have an edge. And just because I played so many, and I think I have a pretty, uh, pretty good formula that works. Um, I'm going to start off trying to be the aggressor. Um, I'm going to try to pick up a lot of chips and um, hopefully he will get sick of it and uh, put his money in bed. <laughs> I think it's very important to uh, to take control of these games, these heads up sit and goes, especially the turbos because the blinds go up so quickly. All right, I obviously have nothing. I'm out of position. I'm going to give up on the hand if he bets. Um, an over bet like that, especially heads up, I give him credit for either probably an 8 or a 10 and he just wants to take it down. But I think it's kind of a stupid bet because if I have a king, it's pretty transparent. I could get him there. All right. I like to do a lot of min raising. <coughs> Unless I have, sorry about that. Unless I have a big hand, uh, then a lot of times I will bet three times a pot. Um, let's see here. I'm just going to call here. He might have a queen, a queen. Queen five suited. Uh oh, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> Although it really doesn't matter. And all right, I'm gonna bet here. I think he was just stabbing at the pot. He was just stab a lot of times. That's the cakes move on a board that's uh, on a board that's paired, a flop that's paired. They like to lead out at it because a lot of people are scared of those boards. And he thinks he can take it down. So I'm just gonna bet here. Try to make a bet to let him know I'm not messing around. Um, I think he's going to fold, but if he does shove, then I'll get, I'll just, uh, of course, fold. But he could have a flush draw, but chances are he has nothing. And I think he's just doing a little acting job here, and he should muck. Okay, good. All right, so that was a decent little pot. Um, I'm going to continue to try to apply pressure. Pick up as many pots as I can. Make him think I'm a wild and crazy player when in actuality I'm really not. Um, all right, a lot of players check here, but I think that's too easy to do. I'm gonna make a little bet. Try to represent it, or try to make him think I'm just trying to represent it when in actuality I have it. Okay, this is the move I really, really like to do. Obviously, he's bluffing, unless he has a hand like pocket fives or ace five then whatever I'm not gonna get away from it so what I like to do here after he thinks I'm bluffing so he makes a big raise I'm just gonna wait forever and call and now I'm gonna check to him real quick in hopes that he shoves on the turn no matter what because he thinks if I have an ace I would have just raised all in alright now I'm not trying to slow roll him but um, so what I did there as I waited I made him think that it was a tough tough decision like I had pocket sixes or sevens and or eights and I just had to call and see another card. And he's going to try to blow me off the hand uh, with the bluff on the turn. So, All right, uh, he's drawing dead. So that was a fairly easy match. I would love to play this guy again. Uh, oh, it's so tempting to play it. But since I'm making a video, I'm just going to decline it. Now, I want to go back to this hand if I can, if it will let me. Um, see, this that's a move that can. This is a move that can work a lot against uh, players heads up. You have a hand like Ace Jack. Um, he should have put me on Ace because I, I, you know, I hadn't raised uh, out of position yet, even though it only been a few hands. And the flop comes down, comes down five Ace Ace. Now the obvious move there, if you have the Ace, is to check it. But that's not what you want to do heads up. You want to lead into it because. Leading into it, it makes it look like I'm scared or I'm bluffing. Because why would he bet if he has an ace on a five eight eight five ace ace board? So I make like a half uh, size pot of the half. <clears throat> I bet half the pot, and obviously he thinks I'm bluffing. So he puts in this huge raise. Now the huge raise doesn't make sense on a so many different levels. One, if he did have an ace or pocket fives, he's not making a huge raise to try to blow me off the hand. So it's obvious he doesn't have uh, an ace or pocket fives or ace five. So I know it's a stone cold bluff. So if I know 
he re-raised me. I bet 90 he re-raised me to like 360. A lot of players there would shove it in. But why shove it in and blow him off the hand? Why not give him a chance to bluff at it again? Especially since I know he doesn't have uh, those hands that I said he had earlier. If he has pocket nines and he and you know he spikes a nine on the turn, it happens. He hits a two outer. But you know, I thought there was a good chance there that if if I just wait and make him think that it's a really tough call, and then I call and then check the turn really quickly, which represents weakness, um, I could get him to shove, and that's exactly what he did. And he happened to hit a six on the turn. Um, but I really think he would have shoved regardless. So, um, hope that makes sense. This was a pretty easy match. Won like 55 bucks in like two minutes. So, they normally aren't this easy, but I'm guessing a lot of people are just getting home from work. It's like 6.40, and they're pulling off some steam and doing a little donking. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope it recorded correctly. Uh, there's a chance it didn't. So, We'll see. Appreciate you guys listening to uh, the Junkies, of course, in the morning, 6 to 10 on WJFK in D.C., and also Mediocre Poker Radio Sunday evenings um, on 106.7 WJFK. The, <clears throat> the website, MediocrePokerRadio.com. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know you know, if you think I played it right or wrong or if you have any other ways, if you have any other uh, styles of play that you like to play heads up. Um, just kind of give me some comments and I'll learn and you can learn maybe a little bit. But uh, I mainly play Heads Up, Sit and Go, so if I make more videos, if you guys are into it, then I will uh, probably make more of these. So uh, thanks for listening to the shows and checking out the video. See you guys.